What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have the 92 overall Champions League Showdown card. But now, and I know why you guys want me to do a review on this card. Because he links up to one certain person. And yes, I have included him in today. And it is going to be my guy. See me this season so far, Neymar. That little strong link makes everything a bit more simpler. Now with this Bernat card, he looks ridiculous. He looks like he can dribble. He's got pace. His physicality slacks a little bit, but his defending and passing ability looks really, really nice. He has he is five foot seven, so it's not an amazing height for a fullback. For fullbacks, I tend to go for five foot ten, five foot eleven, even maybe even pushing it towards a six foot zone. But at the same time, five foot seven just simply means his interception reach and his tackle reach is not going to be great. Now, high medium work rates does get simply fixed with a simple stay back while attacking instruction, so don't worry about that too much. Four star skill moves. Now, I've kind of, in a way, like leaned towards the more five star and four star skill moves fullbacks rather than going for these three star slash two star fullbacks because there is, in certain situations, you can do stuff like the Berber spin, the McGeady's, the flip flaps, the running scoop turns that get you out of situations that you cannot get out of with a three star skiller. So, Bernat having the four star skill moves is always going to be nice. The three star weak foot, though, is going to be enough for passing, trust me on that. But shooting wise, even though he is a fullback, do not trust that three star weak foot when shooting. If he gets a situation, cut it onto his left foot. He is on a anchor chem style, he is on 10 chem, 99 acceleration and 95 sprint speed. One thing I always, always am going to love is the fact that fullbacks are completely fast. Their pace is crucial, especially this year with wingers, so many wingers being so fast, like Adama Traore, Daniel James, you got yourself Ryan Ken. I could go on and name God knows how many more. So you need your fullback to be insanely fast and Bernat has got it. Shooting wise though, for me personally, I won't probably be shooting with him. 69 finishing and 72 shot power says more than enough that I need to know. Anyway, passing ability though. When it comes down to passing, I need my fullbacks to do an over the top through ball down the line. If they can do that, I'm completely happy with it. And it does look like Bernat is going to be able to do it with 89 vision, 93 crossing, 93 short passing, 83 long passing and 89 curve. You could obviously question the 83 long passing, but I have used the 83 long passing on other players and it, sh and it was fine. I didn't really see any, any problem with it. Either way, dribbling. This is the one thing I want to see on a player, right? A fullback, especially this late into FIFA. We need to see a fullback that's got pace, that's got passing, dribbling, defending, and physical. If you got all of that, trust me, you're end game, straight up. But a dribbling aspect to his game looks very nice. The 94 ball control, the 94 agility, the 96 balance, the 86 composure, which you could obviously argue is a bit low, but for a fullback, I believe it's more than enough. Dribbling aspect has got 91 as well. So he should feel good on the ball and he should turn really quick. Defensive aspect though, 99 interceptions, 99 defensive awareness, 99 standing tackling, and 99 sliding tackling. He hasn't got a great tackle reach, he hasn't got the greatest interception reach, okay? But at the same time, he should be at the right place at the right time with that 99 defensive awareness. Physical wise, 99 jumping, him being 5'7, I doubt he's going to win a header. Maybe he'll win a header over like Neymar or Messi because, you know, they're quite small, but at the same time, it's like he's never really going to out jump like a Lukaku or like an Ebro, you know? Now, 99 stamina will make him last throughout the whole 90 minutes. 81 strength. I don't like fullbacks that have low strength. Now, on the other side, I think I'm using him. Yeah, I am. Trent, he's got low strength as well, but he has that high aggression and I don't see a problem with it, but it's because he is 5'11". But Bernat, being 5'7", and having low strength and high aggression, maybe, just maybe, it can go into the same thing but I really doubt it because he's not going to have a tackle reach to him. So he can't wrap his legs around my around my opponent. So we're going to see how that goes in game. Hopefully he does not get bodied off the ball. Now, I have linked him up today, as you clearly can see, with Neymar. I've also got likes of Vieira, Sanchez and Lippmann in this team. I will be using Bernat in a 4-4-2, playing him in that left back position. But how I do my fullback, uh, fullback reviews pretty much is if my opponent is not going down that line, I will move him into a send mid position simply because I want to test out his aggression. I want to test out his ta uh, standing tackling, his slide tackling, and also his defensive awareness. But let's get into the games. All right, so let's see how he feels on the ball. Please feel like a god. I want you to feel just as good as like Furlan Mendy. And he does. Oh, that seems very nice. I'm going to run down the line. Use that pace. 
Okay, maybe a bit too ambitious, but at the same time, he feels really good on the ball. Nice. I love how he stayed up there. He realized that he needs to give me that attacking option. Just going to fake out my opponent here. Fake show around the corner. Okay. Ball roll. Oh, if I got round with that ball roll, maybe, just maybe, we could have actually got a goal. So, Bernat is apparently being put towards a near post. Please win the header. It's not bad, but it's not the greatest clearance. And we're probably going to concede off this. Okay, let's get this ball away before we do actually concede. What is happening right now? EA, please, there you go. I don't know why Bernat gets put into the near post, but I don't really mind too much as long as it's not like Virgil van Dijk coming towards him, which it was. I was low-key scared for a little bit, but he did pretty, he did pretty well. Win ahead of Bernat. There you go. He's always going to win it over like Lionel Messi. That's why I said at the start, if it's Lionel Messi or someone like Neymar and stuff like that, he will win the header because he's got 99 jumping. But if, if he comes up against like a Lukaku or something like that, he's got no chance. Good touch. A little fake shot. Can I get that through ball, especially down the line? Yes, I can. And it is going to be a perfect pass. One thing I noticed with uh, fullbacks that don't have a lot of long passing is the fact that as soon as I go for that tight angle through ball, it usually goes off the pitch. The fact that Bernat can actually keep it on the pitch, but being it, making it pretty much be spot on is really nice. Use that pace. He's insanely fast. Like, look at this. A little fake shot around the corner. One thing I have noticed as well, it's his aggression that makes him like pretty much stay. Oh, wait, I could get the ball back here. Yeah, pretty much his aggression, which makes him stay up because it's clearly not his strength. His strength is by far not good enough. It's just his aggression, his fight for the ball and him wanting the ball more than my opponent is what keeps him going. Little four-star skill move. Little fake shot to the inside. Keep going, but now why not at the end of the day? Little ball roll. I like I'm going to do something. Go for the rainbow flick. Oh, the rainbow flick slightly went a bit too far. But at the same time, he doesn't actually seem too bad on skill moves. But that great pace, unbelievable pace and great transition as well. I've noticed as well with him is that he can transition really, really well. For example, if I get sent one way with a skill move, he can recover really fast. Fake shot out, ball roll. I like I'm going to go down the line, cut back in and adjust a simple pass. And that's what I like to see because that's me being very confident with him because I know how he feels now. I've played, what, two games now? And I can see how he feels on a ball. He's very similar to Ferlan Mendy when he's on the ball. Really nice. Uh, okay, I was about to say a really nice goal, but apparently Alexis wants to miss that. It's a little press here. Okay, so I pressed too far out. Let's see his pace. This is team of the season or team of the year Mbappe. I can't remember which one, but he puts in one hell of a tackle. But not the greatest attack for my opponent. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It was very questionable on what the guy was actually doing. And I wanted to switch that. But for some reason, it went straight towards Daniel James. First time pass. Oh, okay. All right. Let, let's not comment about that. Let's not comment about that. Good interception. There you go. But now, there you go. Great, great kind of, you know, attacking presence there. Little ball roll, keep it very calm down the line. It took two players there to actually go and tackle him because the way he keeps the ball close to his feet, it doesn't really give my opponent an opportunity to just go in and click B because if he does, it's going to be a penalty. Little pass of Bernat. Come on, go for that through ball. You see that through ball with the freestyle weak foot as well. Take a touch with Vieira. No, I wanted to take a touch with Vieira, try to go around Cannavaro, and then I would have had that wide open A pass. But that's a really good pass with Bernat's uh, freestyle weak foot. That's great press, I guess, from Bernat. That was an automatic press. I'm guessing it was one of those ones where he just locked him on because the opponent wasn't going to get the ball. But he did pretty decent to actually get there with his pace. So we have got a penalty here. There's only one person that could step up to the plate and actually score it, and it is going to be my guy. Bernat, let's see if you can actually get your first goal for the club. Where is he? There it is. What is it? 61 penalties. Not the greatest, not the greatest. I'm going to act like I'm going to go top bins. And then I'm going to go down. And then just hit it to the left. Hopefully the guy does get fluked by hit. He doesn't. Interesting. But that stay on him. Oh, decent tackle. But it didn't actually end up getting the ball. I reckon if he was probably like 5 foot 9, 5 foot 10 maybe. He would have actually came out with the ball there. But it is what it is at the end of the day. I see a through ball. A potential through ball that could absolutely be incredible. Please get there. No, he gave him some weird, weird touch, but it was an amazing ball either way. You can clearly see how overpowered that long pass really is. Go for that interception. There you go. Come out with the ball as well. I mean, it is 99 De Bruyne. He did press me really well as well, so I'm not going to really go into that too much. But at the same time, it was a decent interception. 
I'm going to do an over the top through ball with his right foot this time. The reason I did actually cut on, let me see if I can score this actually. Yeah, the reason I went into the inside is because I wanted to test out that weak foot, okay? I didn't just want to consistently do passes with the left foot over and over and over again. I want to see if that freestyle weak foot was going to be enough. And as you clearly can see, it is. It's a spot on pass, literally on a dime. And all I had to do was pass to Sanchez and he wasn't going to miss. So it is time to review him. Three games played, zero goals. I could have scored the pen. I could have, but I didn't. All right, I'm not the greatest at pen, so allow me on that. But the biggest problem I actually saw about this card was the space he left between David Luiz and himself. I saw a space where it allowed my opponent to do a single through ball and it would just get straight past him. And that is something I didn't like. But then that's when I noticed Bernat is an attacking fullback. He's a fullback that likes to go forward. He gives, he gives an attacking presence. He's also amazing on the ball and he's got outstanding pace. So if you don't like that kind of fullback, obviously try to uh, like avoid Bernat. But at the same time, if you do, he's obviously going to be perfect for you. But that's like the biggest problem I actually saw about him. Now, 5 foot 7. I personally thought 5 foot 7, never going to be enough. We got 5 foot 10, 5 foot 11, even 6 foot fullbacks nowadays that are absolutely ridiculous. And as soon as I saw 5 foot 7, I thought to myself, not the greatest tackle reach, not the greatest interception reach. It's probably going to be a bust. But he really wasn't. He's like his awareness. His awareness was really nice. The fact that he would read lanes by read lanes by himself, and the fact that he would obviously track runs by himself was super super overpowered. Now, if there was one player I would honestly compare him to, I would honestly say Roberto Carlos. It, he's so similar to Carlos, it's ridiculous. I remember when every time I played Carlos, he would track runs by himself all the time. It'll be so AI assisted, it'll be crazy. And that's why he reminds me of ben, uh, that's why he reminds me of uh, Roberto Carlos because he did exactly that. He was AI assisted so badly, the fact that you don't even have to touch him at some point and he would get the ball for you. That's how overpowered he is. Four star skill moves. Skill moves was always going to be nice to Berber spins and stuff like that out of tight angles. The three star weak foot. I did obviously try it and it does work really well. You can switch the ball with it. You can obviously over top through ball, uh, over top through ball with it down the line. Everything about that is perfect. Pace wise though. I'm going to give his pace a 10 out of 10. I really am. I don't believe there's much faster fullbacks especially this year he's insanely fast he catches up to the majority of players obviously you're gonna get a bit of trouble when you come up against 99 ronaldo but after uh, any of any other player i would say he catches them up shooting wise i didn't have a shot apart from the penalty so i can't really go into shooting too much passing ability i am gonna give him a 9 out of 10 the reason i'm not gonna give him a 10 out of 10 is because i know at some point that freestyle weak foot might become a bit inconsistent and this is where the four-star weak foot is obviously better. So yeah, 9 out of 10 for passing. Dribbling, 10 out of 10. He feels amazing on the ball. And you can really, really tell that he's one of those fullbacks that even in bad gameplay, he's still going to feel good. Defending stats though. As I said, not a great tackle reach, not a great interception reach. But it kind of it kind of covered for it when it came down to defensive awareness. But I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys, you know is say he's just as good as like Virgil van Dijk he's good as you know Boateng he's good as Furlan Mendy and all of these when it comes down to tackling because he's not the ball does bounce quite a lot the interceptions was really nice if he was at the right place at the right moment because once again he's not going to reach out and get it but I would honestly give his defensive stats probably a 9 out of 10 physical stats though tough 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 I did notice that he is like a trend that he uses his aggression to his pretty much full potential over his strength so physicals i am gonna give him also a 9 out of 10 this card is not bad at all he's a really really nice fullback and i do want to see him get that plus three upgrade but an overall rating out of 10 i am gonna give him a 9 out of 10 i believe that is spot on i can't give him any higher than that but who would i choose Ferland mendy or bernat i'll still obviously go for mendy but this is the good thing about champions league showdown right is not like summer showdown where if they draw they'll get a plus one no this is champions league we're talking about one of these players have to win and if it's going to be psg bernat will be a 95 overall i will be doing a review on him and we'll see how big that upgrade is going to be but i hope you guys did enjoy the video leave a like leave a comment and for now peace